I'm here with Linda Johnson and she is with the Center for Community Arts. You guys used to be Civic Arts, right? Correct, yes. This summer we launched our new um, name and brand, Center for Community Arts, with a fresh new look. Why? Because after talking to community members for over a year about what they really care about about this organization, we felt that focusing on community and arts really summed up the experience that people have when they come to make art with us. It's really a place where people throughout all of the periods of their life can engage with the arts while building communities. So we wanted to create a fresh, more updated name and image that would reflect what people have always loved about this organization. So I understand that there's art classes, mm -hmm. right? But what else? What's kind of the general program which you guys do? We have arts integrated preschools and we have all kinds of youth arts classes and camps. In addition, we have a very extensive program of adult art classes from ceramics to drawing, painting, and printmaking to music, jewelry, fiber arts, and more. So you get them young and then you can keep them, right, until they're well into their old age. Correct, and many people go through the generations of their life attending classes here. So if somebody wants to get involved to help you guys, or to take some classes, or anything like that, how would they do that? Well, Center for Community Arts is a place for everyone in the community. We partner with our foundation, the Friends Foundation, to make sure that there are scholarships for people who are low income in the community so that they can um, take anything from a preschool class to an adult painting class. Additionally, we provide free events twice a year, our family art days, where members of the community can come make art with us and have fun for free to learn more about what we do. We're also out and about in the community all the time, whether it's through a partnership with a school or a program in the community, or we're at your local street fair for you to just drop by and make art with us for a little while. And why is something like this important to a city like Walnut Creek? I think it really creates a sense of place in Walnut Creek. You know that we're known for the wonderful art programs that we provide from Center for Community Arts to the Lesher and the Bedford Gallery. I think people take a great deal of pride in that arts legacy that we have in this community. And young people are really supported educationally and in their development while working adults and older folks also receive that kind of support. There's a lot of research that shows that older folks, when they make art, age more healthfully and um, are in better health, both mentally and physically. I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You're welcome.